Hi friends, this is Kamal Shah from SwitchArts Consultancy Private Limited. SwitchArts is into training on technical analysis and we had started with a series of introduction to technical analysis. This is going to be the fifth video in the same series. In this video, we are going to cover different types of charts, volume and relationship between price and volume. So let's start with the types of charts. So let's understand what is a chart first right so if i say chart is nothing but a visual representation of price movement this is with respect to time right so if I have to say chart we have used in our school days and we know that there is a x axis and y axis. So in case of a price chart we know that x axis is going to be the time and y axis is going to be the price. Now there are mainly three types of charts but the useful charts that we have in technical analysis are just of two types. One is called as candlestick chart and the second one is called as a close line chart. So before we go into detail of a candlestick chart and a close line chart, let's understand four important attributes of price so price has got four important attributes they are open high low and close so open is nothing but the price at which it is open for the day it is the price at which the stock opened at say 915 when the trading starts so that price is called as the open price then is the high it is the day's high for that particular stock or index right then comes the low it is nothing but the low of the day for that stock or index and then comes the close close is nothing but the closing price it's a closing price of the day for that stock or the index so with this understanding of price attributes now let's see an example of a candlestick chart so what now you are going to see is a candlestick chart so this is what the candlestick chart will look like so each of this what we are seeing here is called as a candle so this is one candle this is another candle so each of this is called a candle and this is how the price is been shown or represented in the chart and as i said x-axis is time so we can see that this is months and these are the dates which is an attribute of time and this is the price on the y-axis now let's understand candle in detail so as i said there are four important attributes of price and here we see open high low and close now let's see this with example of the candle what i'm going to do is i'm going to expand this so that we can see the candle in detail so if you see this particular candle here right so we have got then open we have got a close a high and a low so now if you see this has got an open price of 
so for this particular candle whatever you see in this box is going to be the attribute so now if you see in the box it is 11458.65 is the open then the close is 11569.45 right so this is where it has opened this is where it has closed then it made some high which is other than the closing price which is 11578 and it made a lower price of 11448.90 so this particular candle if you see it's a white in color so when a candle is white in color it means that that day was a good day for nifty because this is the chart of the nifty and it means that it opened at a lower level and it closed at a higher level so this is what the candlestick tells us now let's see another candle which is black in color so when you see a candle which is black or red it means that it was a bad day for nifty and it shows that I have opened higher so if you now compare the open for this particular candle it is at 11859 my close is 11771 which is lower than my open price which means that I opened here and I closed here which means I have come down in the price right so this is an example of a candlestick chart right and now the other chart is called as close line chart so as we know that we now see the attribute as closing price and if I just have a chart which is just connecting to the closing price of each of these candles and it's only showing me the closing price then it is said to be a closed line chart and for example let me show you how it looks so in the if i just select close line and i say apply so this is how a closed line chart looks right so this is an example of a closed line chart where it's only connecting the closing price of each day to form the chart right so we understood what are the two types of the chart now let's understand volume right so now we know the type of charts we have seen price we have seen the representation of price with respect to candle as well as close line now let's focus on volume so volume is nothing but participation in market right and this particular attribute cannot be hidden because whatever is been traded is been recorded and you can easily get day by day volume onto the chart and that is the reason why we say that it's something which is important and it cannot be hidden now what we need to understand with respect to volume and price say if there is increase in price so price is moving up and volume is also moving up right that means it's a good strong trend whenever there is a change in the price and volume relationship the current trend whichever it can be is becoming weaker and weaker all right so that is what we say if there is a change in relationship change in price volume relationship the trend is becoming weaker okay so now 
let's see this with a formal table like stuff with respect to price so if I have to just say price okay if I say price volume and trend is three things and if I have to say that if price is moving up and volume is also moving up then the trend is strong and it's an uptrend okay now if price is moving up but volume is not okay so if i say volume is moving down then it's a weak trend and yet it is an uptrend as the price is moving up then if i say if the price is moving up moving down and volume is moving up that means both are in sync okay there are good volumes and price is moving down okay? then it is a strong trend and the trend would be downtrend because the price is moving down with increasing volume and finally If the price is moving down, but even volume is moving down, okay, so if the move moving down, in that case, my current trend is weak and still it's a downtrend. So this is the price volume relationship with respect to the trend as well, right? Hope this video was helpful to you. Like our channel Sway Charts on YouTube for more and more videos. Thank you all.